Welcome back to the workshop. Uh, we got a couple, or we got a little project today. Um, I bought a set of LED lights uh, that I installed in the kitchen. You know, a nice wa waterproof one, fairly inexpensive. However, the original RGB controller for it died pretty much instantaneously. So, what I did is I made my own controller. I uh, drew this up in Tinkercad. Uh, printed it out. And basically what it is, is we'll have individual color controls. Uh, this one will be a dimmer function. And then we have a big master on off. Um, you know, already got these all mounted up. This, you know, print turned out okay. For aesthetic purposes, I really should have put the, uh, the RGBs in the vertical position. And I've been having problems getting a high enough wattage uh, uh, resistor for the, for the dimming function. I may, I may just, uh, you know, abandon that. But I'm going to wire it up in case I can get a resistor for it. We'll try something. The ones I had on hand uh, were just too high of current to, uh, they start getting hot pretty quick. So we don't want to don't want to play with that so we'll just leave it un unattached but we'll, we'll prep it just in case anyway um, so let's uh, get this started it's uh, I'm gonna try and keep the cut the the coloring scheme matched up to the uh, the plug here um, yeah and I just I bypass just hook this up straight so we could have something that will actually you know work uh, that presses in there pretty nice. Probably uh, super glue this in place. Pull it out for right now. Do a little more cleanup on it. Okay, I like how that was flaring out. Uh, and other things, we're going to cut this up here real quick while I'm got the cutters available. And that is probably going to sit right down in here like that. Make sure I can actually get plugged in. Okay, so I'm going to have to angle that a little bit. Basically, this is going to sit up on the edge of a counter there. Put it in a little bit further. That'll make it so it can... Uh, pluggable. Okay. I just I didn't have this available for measurement. Otherwise, if I was smart, I would have just made a recess in this housing for it uh, right off the get-go. Uh, yeah, I think if we just put it in a little further, it'll be fine. Okay. So that one is the tail tail housing. So that one needs to be black. I think what we're gonna do is put. Heavier gauge. I guess I don't have a heavier gauge black. Okay. I think I'll bring you back when I have all the wires prepped. Cause this is taking way, way too long. Uh, yeah, basically I'm going to make a jumper, one to go to my my switch there. Actually, I need a third one to go to the main uh, main connection here. That's plenty healthy enough. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make some make some extensions, and we should be uh, should be good to go. All right, now let's get this uh, show on the road. So I need to attach three red ones to one main terminal, 
get these all paired together. And where, oh, where did my stuff go? So we're going to do a little prep here. Put a little bit of resin, or no resin, but a flux on stuff ahead of time makes everything go so much smoother. So, should be able to just get this dabbed up ahead of time. That part's done. Now we gotta load up all of these. I think we're gonna do the same drill where we reload them and then just glue them in place. That seems to be working really good, keeping the heat to a minimum on the parts. As it is now, it should work just like it says. Plug in the power. Nothing smoking. Okay. Good lights. Seems to be good. So we'll turn them all back on, and the big rocker switch works fine. So let's uh, finish button this all up. Get that, get that next wire set. So all I gotta do is put the resistor in down the road, and we will make it look neat and call it a day. All right. So I got most of the wires all tucked in here, and now we're just gonna glue, break out the. The hot lava gun here and we're going to glue this power plug in position call this a project i think load that up nice and heavy and stick it down
not a big fan of putting hot, using hot glue on stuff, but for this application it should work just fine. Kind of hold everything in place. And then if I ever need to remove it, it's not that hard to remove. So I should probably put a little hot glue around the base here too. So it doesn't want to pull out. Okay, that should work. A whole lot of stress on that. Okay, looks like this is job done. We got on off and multicolor dimming control. So that's good. And that should look, look pretty clean where it's going to be installed at, too. So that's an extra bonus. I think that's it for, for this video. Let me uh, clean up my mess and go install this. And I'll give you guys some pictures of uh, how we got here.